Hello guys, Light in the Darkness here, and uh, yet another episode. Today we're doing Chapter 5 of Pokemon Explorers of Sky. The first, of, well, the, Chapter 5 is known as the first official exploration. We've technically had four explorations at this point. Well, this is going to be technically our fourth, because we went through Beach Cave as our first, French Bluff as our second, and our third was, I want to say... Mount Horn? No. Yeah? I don't know, it was a mountain of something. It was some mountain. Anyways, that was our, this will be our fourth exploration, and if you don't remember that spoiler I said in the last episode by accident, mind you, um, it will be, we will be going through Waterfall Cave. Ugh. Good morning, TJ. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. Saving your adventure? Yep, save complete. Okay. So I'm gonna read Chat Todd's dialogue when he gives the first time. Oh. <clears throat> Everyone? I have an important announcement to make. It's out of my region. So why do I Orange because it's really true. Should make it to the Huh? Eek! What did you say? Oh god, I really want to do a fat Albert voice for this. So bad. I'm not going to. You saying time is stopped? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's correct. Time has come to a standstill. It's pretty bad for it. The wind has stopped. Clouds are motionless. Less, not less. The drops on leaves won't fall to hang there. Suspended. Tree shot forth. Time itself has thoroughly stopped. Did the time stop? But how could something like this? How could something this awful happen? It's unthinkable. Yeah, the unthinkable has happened. Why is time stopped? Stop the tree shot forest. Because tree shot tree shot forest. Time there was. Stolen. Hmm. Time here was stolen. <clears throat> That's what made time stop. Hey, hey, hey. I heard it was possible. What else really happened? I don't get it though. Why would anyone take a time gear? Why did everyone? Officer Magnazone has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare steal a time gear. But if one time gear can be stolen, the others may also be in danger. The officer asked to be notified immediately if we notice anything suspicious if we notice any suspicious characters. So keep that in mind. Let us know if you notice anything. That is all. Alright everyone, here's to another busy day of work. Hooray! You there. You two come here. You notice that the last episode the music kind of overtied the actual game in the actual commentary. You've become quite good at your work. I'm impressed with your capture of Bradley. That was very admirable. But not again. Sorry guys. Well, you all you all will finally be assigned to a mission worthy of a proper exploration team. Really? Yay! Let me see your water map. Here I open the water map. Treasure Town is here. And over here is where we would like you to investigate. See, there is a waterfall flowing over here. By all appearances, it's just an ordinary waterfall. But we received intelligence that the waterfall may conceal a secret. Where are you coming? We want you to watch. 
We want you lot to investigate the waterfall and determine that what's there. Bloody hell, why does this sound like it's from Britain? I thought. Do you understand what this mission entails? Yes. Good. Alright, I'll leave you off to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. Huh? What's wrong? You're shivering. Are you alright? Yep, I'm okay. It's just the anticipate, just the anticipation that's making me nervous. This will be our first real job as an exploration team. I'm get, I'm getting a bit emotional. Oh, I'm falling over with excitement to our best here. Anime goes. Quick anime goes, no cuts. And I think we're going to be. Chimeco rang the friendship bell. Now, Team Spark Flame has the power to recruit new members. R really? Yes. From now on, while battling Pokemon in dungeons, you may earn respect from up to some of them. Those Pokemon will then jam to join Team Spark Flame. Waterfall that's supposed to 
supposed to have a secret. Ah! The water's pounding down. Try getting close to the waterfall, T Gray. It's true. This is incredible. I can barely stay standing near this balloon. comes the scream which I'm gonna call it that I know what it is but I don't want to spoil anything because eventually it'll be explained to us <laughs> something seems familiar that Disney-ness I felt before hmm I wonder who that is It happened again. I saw something. But what did I just see? Oh, what's the matter, Tigre? Huh, what? You had another vision? This time a Pokemon leaped into this waterfall? You saw that? Not, uh, not only that, there's a hidden cave behind the waterfall? Hmm. But it looks like that water is crashing down really hard. Imagine if there were actually a solid cliff behind that waterfall. Yeesh. If we tried to jump through, we'd be pounded badly. So, Peter, what do you think, Peter? Is there really something behind this waterfall? You're sure that there really is a cave there? No? Okay. I'm willing to believe you, T-Ray. Yeah. I totally believe in you, T-Ray. This is going to be a very difficult dungeon, for Tanda at the very least, and you'll see what I mean. I mean, it's obvious concern we're going through a waterfall. I mean, unless you don't know what kind of, you know, you think there's just going to be like a one fold of, filled with a uh, grass type or anything. <laughs> this dungeon is filled with water types, and it's going to be nice for Tanda, so I've got to do the protecting this time, and let's say I've got two revive routines to do that. I gotta be brave now. But and if I get if I get scared and fail to leap through at full speed, I'll be smushed no matter what I do. If I'm going for it, it has to be without any hesitation. Be brave. Use all use all your courage. Ready? Let's go, T Gray. Three, two, one, now! <laughs> that was a very, very weird. Yeah, wow wow. After all, Tigre, let's go explore this cave. Tigre, let's see what secrets it holds. What if cave is D14? Okay, as you can see by the plots of water, this is going to be a water type dungeon. Which means I have to protect Vulpix. So, without further ado, let's get started by collecting this apple. And as you can see, I've got two Reviver Seeds, two Orange Berries, and that's it. I mean, I got plenty of food, so... I have to come down to where my belly gets empty, but... I believe there's only like 10 floors of this, so it shouldn't be that bad. There's poison types here. I'll let you take care of the poison. Oh, come off at night! Thank you! I mean, we're a little high level for these, but considering I, like, she just KO'd a, a Grimer in one hit. Oh, look, a Skirtsky! Ow. Hey, you little jerk. Give me something good. Not something good. Give me a part. I'm thinking. It's very difficult to recruit. It's very randomized. So, like, say I get a polywag, I'm definitely gonna recruit it. I want it in my current game. 
on my DS, I'm trying to uh, recruit every single Pokemon, and it's, I should mention, it is not a regular DS, it is a 2DS, and not a 2DS XL main, because I'm trying to save money to get one of those, um, but I don't really have a job right now to do so. Oh my god, did we just run to our first Kecleon shot? <coughs> Eh, crap. Crap. Stand up. This is gonna get really ow. This is gonna get really annoying. Wake up already! Thank you. Okay, Tanda, you're up. <laughs> Thank you for the warp, though. <laughs> oh my god, that was perfect. I mean, it'll be random finding that. This was actually, I believe, my first recruit in uh, my DS version. But it took quite a while to get him. There is actually a way that if you fail this, which I highly doubt I will. Third gummy, I believe that's for a normal type. I will explain what the gummies, like the different types of gummies, like red is uh, psychic, I believe. Orange is fire. <coughs> Yellow is obviously electric. Um, gold is brown. Pink is. Actually, no, pink would be psychic. I forgot what red is. But, um, depending on what type of gummy you feed someone, depends on if their intellect, will, if their IQ will go up significantly and they learn a new IQ skill, or if they just... Ooh, I like these a lot. Swap with... One of the whites. Whites, um, I forgot what they were for. I believe... No, actually, I have forgotten what they were for. I'm putting on the special. Specials are my favorite. And you'll see why, because look at that damage! Hey, we'll burn. I mean, at least it was water gun, and not freaking mud shot again. I got lucky with that first mud shot he landed on me. I'm trying to, like... No, not really useful. Although that is... I've got some storage, so... I think. No, I'm waiting for some ideas. Um... <laughs> hey, moron! Thank you. I like I like zinc bands, but like for right now, I prefer us both to have a special. The reason I like the first episode when I the first episode I got a Geo Pebble I thought it was a Graveler Rock is because I forgot the Graveler Rocks on here are different colors than what they are on blue and red rescue. Please don't let it be the last one I got into. I will be livid. Very very livid. Usually, I'm very good at finding these, but like, I also like exploring. Nice! Ow! Stop, uh, come to me! I mean, look, that was like some seriously good damage, and I'm not even... 
Why did I say alpha? Oh, look, the pan is leveling up faster than I am, and that's just for me. I'm kind of sad, but kind of not. I mean, we... <laughs> my Pip had to eat a bunch of doom seeds, and I ended up beating Blizzard Island without him, which that's like an island that we discover post game. So like, it's not really. It's not far into the post game. Of my, my favorite dungeons is though, and that dungeon I'm, I bought a key for specifically for that dungeon. Hey Grimer! Bye Grimer! Give me that geo cover. Um, but... Um... Hey Grimer! Ah, crap. Burn it! Ew, no! I mean, at least it's only like two points and I'm right next to the stairs, so it didn't have to last long. Okay, I was wrong on the number of floors. Wow, will you look at that, Tigre. Look at all the gems sparkling. Now, look over there. It's a gigantic gem. Oh, wow, I've never seen a gem this immense. This is an incredible treasure. Everyone will be amazed if we take this back. Panda tried to grab the giant jet. <sighs> nope, it's not budging. It's really stuck tight. Can you give it a try, Tigre? Tigre took over and tried to pull the gigantic pull up the gigantic jet. Try hard enough, we'll probably get some kind of ball. I'm going to give it another go, Tigre. Here's the ball, and I'm going to take it again. Not budging one bit. <laughs> oh no. It's happening again. It's. just won't come out. I, I got an idea. Tana just happened to push the gigantic gem. Ah, that. It's about to crap. Oh, what's happening? You're about to crap. Two dead bodies. Huh? What? Where are we? Hi, hi, are you two okay? You plopped down at from nowhere. Oh, you startle everyone. Day Ursa and Earthring. We'll meet those two much more in depth post game. Where are we? This is the hot spring. Hot spring? Oh, what are you complaining about? You're a fire type. Indeed, this is the hot spring. The hot spring works wonders on tired muscles in 59. Many Pokemon disappear. Tell me, youngster, have you a map? Map? Oh, or wonder map you mean. We have one. Unfold it for me. There. There. Here we are. We are here. This is the hot spring. Wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea. We'll do that. Thanks, everyone. And 
no, nothing, like, not a really important cutscene is happening, but I'll still save my adventure. Hmm. Well, let me, let me see if I got this off. Like, behind the waterfall, there is a cave. In the deepest part of the cave, there is a gigantic chest. When you pushed on the gem, it triggered some, triggered a trap of some kind. And surprisingly, you have some thoughts of the different options. That's the gist of your report. It's awfully disappointing that we couldn't bring the gem back. I don't know, no, emphatically no. Emphatically no. Emphatically not empathetic. Emphatically. Why do I always say empathetic? Emphatically. Anyway. This is a major discovery. Really? I see we made a discovery! When I had those dizzy spells, the shadow of that Pokemon I saw. Oh, you know. Hmm, the shadow is very recognizable considering we've seen that sprite somewhere before. That shape. I've seen that shape before. That shape. There's no mistaking it. Wigglytuff! That was Wigglytuff. <laughs> there are a lot of them discovered, it was just, it's just amazing, the Guildmaster must be tall. Speaking of the Guildmaster... Oh? What's the matter, t Ray? Pardon? You say Wigglytuff may have gone to that waterfall before? So how did it go? When I asked the guildmaster, he mulled that over for a bit, and then he said, I don't know why he's doing that. And he knocked around a bit, and he said, All we had to do was complete the waterfall cave. Yep, because now something important is going to happen, and I believe it is another... No, nope. is it another time you're being stolen by Grova? Um... Anyways. Today was exhausting. We should get, some, get to sleep early. We went through a lot today, huh? Didn't we? But you know what? It was incredibly fun for me. Sure, there was that huge letdown. But it was our first exploration! Not really. I was already... I was ready to burst with excitement and anticipation the whole time. I realized I did the right thing in becoming an exploration team member. One day I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. That's my dream. Not, not again, why twice in this episode? If it ever came true, I'd surely faint with 
sheer ha from sheer happiness. <laughs> Seriously, thanks. I can ex I can explore because of you, T right? Yep. Be brave. Use all use all your courage. Okay, I'm the biggest chicken around. I mean not today. I'm the biggest chicken around and even I managed to work up the courage. It was all because of you. Because you were with me, T right? Seriously, T right? Thanks. Oh, yeah. You know, I was thinking. I noticed something about your dizzy spells, t -ray. They always seem to happen when you're touching something. Come to think of it, Tanda's right. When I heard a zero scream... We're sorry to bother you think- Oh wait, yeah, I forgot, I'm skipping memories. And that other time, when you touched Drowsy by mistake, And when we were exploring Waterfall Cave. It, it's true. It was always after touching something. That's when I got those dizzy spells. When I touch something, I see something connected to it, right? That's, there's another thing. Hmm? When you rescued a Zuru, you saw you had a vision of the future. But this time you saw Wiggly Tuck going into the cave, right? So that means this time you saw something that took place in the past. Th that's true. In other words, T Gray, if you touch something, you see its past or future. You must have that kind of special ability. This could be something totally amazing. You could use it in all in lots of ways. Not just for exploring either. The ability to use to be useful for many things. It's amazing, T-Gray. Right? Oh, oh yeah. I guess that's true. But that doesn't mean I always get a vision every time I touch something. It would be useful if I could have visions when I wanted, but Hey, you too. The gun master wants to see you right away. Uh Go, Master. I bought I brought you Team Sparkling. Go, Master. Go, Master. Hey, yeah. Your team went through a lot of a lot today. Yes, a lot, a, a lot, lot. Don't worry. I'm keeping watch on your activities. I should tell you why I called you here. We're planning a about a full expedition here soon. Place far away. harder than exploring our nearby area. That's why we need to prepare for the big trip. We carefully choose which bed fibers go on the expedition. Expedition. Really? Usually we would never ever consider roses to be an expedition. But you two are working so very hard. That's why we're making a special exception this time. We decided to include you in that in the list of candidates for the exploration. Really? Oh, now! We haven't been chosen as expedition members yet. There's still time before we set out on the expedition. If you fail to do good work with Orlin, you cannot expect to be selected for the expedition. I'm sure you two can do it. Try hard! Sleep. I believe. Yep, that is it for this episode. In the next episode, we shall oh. sit here. Cause I know it'll. <laughs> so. In the next episode, we shall be taking on, as you can see, Chapter Six, Teen Skull. Hmm, sounds like something from uh, Sun and Moon. <laughs> but anyways. I do enjoy you. I do hope you enjoyed this commentary, and if you do, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more. This is Light in the Darkness signing out, and I hope you guys.
enjoy my commentary once again. And I will see you guys next time. Remember my residents of Shadowville, stay out of the shadows and in the light. Bye-bye.